Hey welcome back to my channel, at WeFly Media. If you are new to my channel please subscribe, so you don't miss out on our latest videos. In today's video we are looking on. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is a free agent after his contract at Manchester United was mutually terminated. Saudi Arabia's Al Hilal are interested in signing the 37-year-old. Ronaldo revealed earlier this month that he turned down a £305 million Saudi Arabia move in the summer. Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal are exploring a deal to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo is a free agent after his Manchester United contract was mutually terminated earlier this week, in the wake of his interview with Talk TV where he criticized the club, its owners, and manager Eric Ten Hag. The forward is currently playing in the World Cup with Portugal and scored in their World Cup opener against Ghana on Wednesday. Ronaldo, I turned down £300 million Saudi move. Interview analyzed, Ronaldo failing to adjust to his new reality. United received an offer for Ronaldo from Saudi Arabia in the summer and were willing to accept the bid, only for the deal to eventually fall through. In the interview with Talk TV, Ronaldo says he rejected the move, which was worth around £305 million. The news comes after Saudi Arabia Sports Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Turkey Al Faisal revealed the country wants to bring Ronaldo to its domestic league, as well as take over Manchester United and Liverpool, who are both seeking new investors. Who wouldn't want him to play in their league? Prince Abdulaziz told Sky News about bringing Ronaldo to Saudi Arabian football. He's a role model to a lot of young players, him and Messi. If Al Hilal can get a deal for Ronaldo done, they will listen to offers for striker Ojin Igulo, who used to play at Manchester United and whose contract is up in the summer. Ronaldo scored Portugal's first goal as they started their World Cup campaign with a 3-2 win over Ghana. The 37-year-old insisted that nothing other than Portugal's World Cup campaign matters to him right now. This was a beautiful moment, Ronaldo said. The world record, the only player to score in five World Cups, makes me very proud. It was a week that finished this chapter, with United, Ronaldo added. It is closed and now I want to start with the good foot forward. We started, we won, I want to help my team and all the rest does not matter. Ronaldo doesn't want Saudi Arabia, he wants the Champions League. Unfortunately, it's not the kind of club Ronaldo would have wanted to come in for him. Just as the termination happened with Manchester United and the interview he gave, it was very, very clear that Ronaldo sees his future still at the top end of the European game. He wants to extend his Champions League legacy, that's the reason he was trying to push out of Man United in the first place over the summer. That is the goal, that is the key. Whether he has to settle for something else, that waits to be seen. But the club that has come in for him won't be a surprise in Saudi Arabia's Al Hilal. They were the only team to put in a formal offer for him over the summer, one which he rejected and United were willing to accept. Ronaldo did not want to go to Saudi Arabia, because he is convinced he still has a lot to prove in Europe and in the Champions League. Ronaldo in interview, I have many, many offers. In the Talk TV interview, Ronaldo hit back at claims that clubs are too fearful to make a bid for him due to his status in football, hinting he has many offers for a new club. Let's be honest, who is the most expensive salary player in the Premier League ever in history? It's me, even at 37 years old, he said. They, the media, even offered me to Sporting, Lisbon, or Napoli. I will be honest with you, I didn't have many, many clubs, but I have many, many offers of the other clubs. But what the press keeps saying, the garbage, is that nobody wants me, which is completely wrong. And I was happy here, at United, to be honest, I was motivated to do a great season here, at United. But they continue to repeat that nobody wants Cristiano. How, do they not, want a player who last year scored 32 goals last year, including, with the national team? Glazers, we wish Ronaldo the best. 
the Portugal international said he felt betrayed by the club, which the Glazers do not care about, adding that United have stopped on a clock in terms of progression and investment in infrastructure. Speaking to Sky News, United co-owner of Ram Glazer refused to be drawn on the striker's claim, echoed by many fans, that his family don't care about the club. He told Sky News, well, I'll tell you about Cristiano Ronaldo, he's a great Manchester United player, I appreciate everything he's done for the club and I wish him the best luck in the future. The Glazers have since released a statement saying they are open to selling United, but they could also remain in charge of the club and seek new investors instead. Thank you for watching at WeFly Media. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.